Good evening, good morning, and good afternoon, everyone. Thank you again for joining me for your monthly readings for all the zodiac signs on my YouTube channel. I appreciate and I'm thankful. I just want to quickly put it out there. Um, Venus, the planet of love, is currently in retrograde. I do believe until the 15th of September 2023, and then Mercury is going into retrograde from the 23rd of August, I do believe, until the 15th of September. With these two planets in retrograde, and Venus the planet of love, it might cause misunderstandings, it might cause miscommunication in any type of relationship, work, family, home, and love. It might also cause delays in travel, delays in communication, delays in mails even. It can cause also a sense of phones, you know, laptop, technological stuff, cars that might break down. So I'm just putting it out there. Take it in consideration. Then I would suggest that you check out for your sun, moon and rising signs. So your sun sign is basically who you are within your heart space. Your moon sign is basically your feelings, thoughts and emotions. Love area in a sense. And then again your Venus sign is where you, who you are in your relationships, right? And in love. And then your rising sign or ascendant sign is basically who you put yourself out there in the world as person. So it is a good thing and it's the most important signs to listen to um, because it will give you a clear type of picture in how your month might go regarding your sun, moon, rising and Venus sign. So thank you for joining me for the month of September. I appreciate and thank you for liking my channel and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate, I'm thankful and I'm grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye. Let's begin. Hello Capricorn, thank you so much for joining me for your monthly reading. This can also be a timeless reading. Um, this is for the month of September. So take it out, resonate. And then also, I mean, whenever you get to see this video, maybe there's a message for you, for the Capricorn people on the collective. So let's really see what do we need to know week for week regarding the Capricorn people. So week one, we've got the Hangman, the Ace of Pentacles and the Devil. You come into your own reading. Um, week two, we've got the Two of Swords. The uh, Nine of Swords, the Lovers, and then we've got the Nine of Pentacles, no, the Nine of Cups, Three of Cups, and Ace Knight of Cups. So Capricorn, basically the first week is showing me um, you are thinking and contemplating about an opportunity, new opportunity in your life. It can be regarding love, it can be regarding money, it can be regarding career, um, and you are thinking and contemplating it through. Um, with the devil card, it might mean as well, you know, um, listen, hear diligently um, before you sign up for an opportunity. Normally in Mercury retrograde, we would say, you know, um, if possible, do not sign any contract deals right now. Maybe, you know, wait a bit. Um, but yeah, again, it's a new opportunity in your life, week one or wherever it's going to resonate for you in the month of September or remember time is fluid. Week two we've got the lovers so we've got the nine of swords and we've got the two of swords and this is basically saying to me showing me a type of contemplation, overthinking, contemplation, sleepless nights, anxiety about overthinking, um, about a person, a place, a situation. You need to make a choice of two people, two situations. Um, and you're, very, you're feeling very indecisive. It can be regarding that new opportunity as well in the beginning of the month and you are still a little bit stagnant and hesitant to make the choice decision. By week three or wherever this resonates for you, it shows me you've made a decision. You have chosen to follow a certain path 
on your life path you have chosen to for example start a new business you have chosen to uh, choose a person um, so it's showing me you know as we progress throughout the month um, that you will be making a choice and decision about a person place or situation and you're going to be very happy I would suggest you listen to your intuition or gut feeling week four shows me travel travel and movement quick rapid um, information coming to you um, again we've got choice and decision about two people two places two situations two businesses two jobs um, you might decide regarding you know travel if you need to apply for a new job and you weigh up your options in the sense of am I going to travel further um, do you know for example if you've got a choice between two jobs or two people um, ask yourself the question um, weigh up the options um, what is going to be best for you regarding your love uh, for the Capricorn collective um, it's showing me try to steer clear of drama um, with the six of swords and the five of wands you came into your own reading um, this can be a fellow earth sign Capricorn Virgo or Taurus um, it's just showing me in a love relationship there might be misunderstandings there might be miscommunications um, and try to see the bigger picture for the single Capricorn people it might mean as well you know there can be drama or there can be a choice and decision of six or five people that you want to go out on a date with um, but try to steer clear of drama and then like I said for the committed Capricorn people communicate um, try to understand each other try to meet each other on the same level of understanding let's quickly see regarding Archangel Raphael's healing cards you've got sunlight I'm going to read this for you Dear Archangel Raphael, please help me enjoy the benefits of sunshine in safe and healthy ways. Let's really see what spirit messages you need, Capricorn. Spirit messages. Okay. Okay, we've got embrace the moment and love. And I'm going to read this for you. Embrace this day, embrace the moment, embrace this day, this is this very moment. Think positively today and repel those negative thoughts. Try not to judge yourself or others. This may be harder than you think. What is actually happening is, is that you're changing your energy. Love. Love is the foundation of your existence and you are just as worthy as receiving as you are giving love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life. Love. Self-love, self-care, love for other people, compassion for other people. You see the word, Capricorn, your word, stability, trust and bravery. Stability, trust and bravery. Stability, trust, and bravery. That's your three words. Stability, trust, and bravery. For the month of September or timeless. I love and care for myself first. Self-care. Self-nurturing you know, nurturing care. Self-love. I see the truth in this ending. I see the truth in this ending. So I hope I could help. Please let me know in the comments. And thank you so much for joining me and watching the video. I appreciate it. Bye.